Ya. <laughs> Mutu, 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 mutu
So, mi simu ya kwanza nilipigiwa nikiwa kanisani huko kwa Maroc nikaambiwa watu wanaama. Nilipigiwa na rafiki wa hiyo plot. Tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye niba. So akaniambia watu wanaama. Nikamuuliza kunaenda nini? Akaniuliza huku ona crack ukitoka asubuhi nikamwambia mimi sikuiona. Akaniambia basi kama unaweza kuja kuja njuu watu wameanza kutoa vitu. Mimi sasa kitambo nitoke kwa Maroc nifike hapa Ruiro nilipata ndio tunaambiwa 10 minutes kila mtu akua ametoka kwa nyumba. So kitu yenye nilichukua tu ni TV na gas na meko ya gas mbili. Hizo tu ndizo niliweza kuchukua. Hili jengo mimi nilireceive simu ya kwanza usiku juu nilirara kwa rafiki yangu nilireceive hiyo simu at 4 am eh asubuhi kume kuangana tu cracks kidogo kidogo wana repair and then hiyo nyumba venye hata wewe ungeiona kabla ijaporomoka ungejua unge ungetarajia unge inaweza inaweza cause hiyo damage but mimi langu nashukuru Mungu sana hata kama sikuweza kuokoa vitu zangu niko safe na familia yangu iko safe okay hakuna mtu aliumia kwa hiyo plot in short sisi wote tulitoka jana hata wenye hatukuweza kuokoa vitu hatukuruhusiwa kurudi so nashukuru Mungu sana hii nyumba ilianza kupomoka tulianza kuona macracks inaendelea na ndivyo e, serikali ikajulishwa na tukakuwa tukaambiwa tuwe evacuated na wakati tulivyokuwa evacuated mali yangu wadhi kama milioni moja ndio ilipomokewa na hii nyumba kwa hivyo naona hasara kubwa sana kwa sababu ya maengineer ambao walipojenga hii nyumba pamoja na mwenyewe contractor kwa hali ambayo ilijengwa mbaya na hiyo hasara sijui nani atanirundishia hiyo hasara nimepata kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya hasara yangu imerundi chini sana kwa hivyo ningeomba serikali ichukue hatua ambayo inayofaa kuhusu hiyo hayo maneno kwa sababu wenye manyumba wanajenga na njia ambayo haistahili ha watumii ile njia ina, inayofaa na um, ili jumba liliporomoka kwa sababu uh, nyufa zake zote uh, ziliweza kuwa na cracks cracks kubwa kabisa uh, lakini jana governor alikuwa hapa akaamurisha kila mtu ahame pia mimi na nakaa nyumba kando ya hiyo tukaamuria sisi wote tutoke kwa hivyo hakuna mtu yote ambaye amepoteza maisha isipokuwa tu watu wamepoteza mali zao ya mamilioni eh. oh ilikuwa uh, hapo saa tisa ya usiku ndio tukasikia mripuko mkubwa na ukaleta vumbi kwa majumba uh, umefanya watu hata wapate hiyo hiyo kahoma uh, mi kama mkazi wa hapa Ruiru ningetaka magavana hata wa Kenya nzima uh, kila mtu anapotaka kujenga jumba lake wahakikisha wamefuata kila kanuni before hiyo nyumba ijengwe wahakikisha kila kitu iko sawa kuta zake ziko sawa ndio at least tuweze ku prevent watu kufariki. Yeah, we have noticed crack and we inform landlord even before there was a crack in the building before. I said that he will take uh, necessary steps. He came, he sent his uh, people, repaired little bit. Yeah. Uh, in loss uh, it's uh, like worth of uh, I think my goods is more than 
12 million ceiling lying in the store. Uh, we have to compensate the building of the whoever was uh, got loss. Landlord have to compensate it. Just the Ruaka. It was also unfortunate kwa sababu tulipoteza watu. Lakini kwa majaliwa tumeweza kushika usiku kwa mkia leo. Tulipata mwenye nyumba akiwa anatoroka kwenda ngambo. Tulimpatia airport. Akienda ngambo tuko na yeye katika uh, cell ya polisi. Sasa hii nayo njana uh, ile report tulipata kama multi agency. Tuliweza kuwa hapa viongozi wote tukiongozwa na governor na security committee hii na tukaweza kwa appeal na kutoa watu wale wote walikuwa katika ile jengo na tunashukuru kwa sababu sofa tunajua hakuna mtu wako ndani mali tu imeharibiwa ndani kwa sababu kuna watu hawakuweza kutoka na vitu zao lakini hakuna uh, maisha tulipoteza tunafanya nini saizi saizi mnatuona hapa sasa hii ni clean up tunataka kuanza kwa sababu hakuna mambo ya kuokoa ili tunasema rescue search and rescue. Hakuna tunajua hakuna watu wako ndani. So tunataka kuanza kusafisha hapa. Tunangojea uh, process moja ama mbili hivi tufanye, tumalize. Ndio contractor aze kuingia hapo na kuanza ku, kusafisha hiyo nini mahali. We are closing in on that person. Actually in time atasta kusema leo ama kesho ama saa hizi lakini in time. Mweke mazikio sawa sawa mtazikia tumeshika mtu leo uh, kwenda forward we want to, to make this a appeal to the people of this county ya kwamba wakiona nyumba wameanza kulishuku kama bila hao wengine walishuku jana wasingojea mpaka liporomoke wacha waitane tunashukuru kama hii kwa sababu maafisa wa, wa usalama walikuwa karibu wengine walikuwa naishi hapo so tulijua mapema na tukatoa watu mapema so finally atakuwa na maafa lakini watu wakiona kuna njambo baya linaendelea kwa, kwa nyumu, lile jengo wanaishi na wanyamaze sasa tunakuja kuwa na maangamizi na watu kukufa yes unajua kwanza kuna nini kupotea kwa maisha ya watu sio ni it's a crime kwa sababu kuna watu walikufa hata kirigitu kuna watu walikufa kuna mali iliharibika kuna kujenga ukiwa mtu afuatiri ile maagizo ama design ya nyumba kile ume, 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 imekuwa approved sio hilo nafanya sio kuna mambo mingi sana yale ambayo tunaangalia tumesema tukiongozwa na governor tunao tumeunda a mutengenze committee ya kusunguka pamoja na NCA tukipiga msasa zile majengo zinaendelea na zile ambazo tunaona zinaweza kuwa siku kuata utaratibu na yote tumesema tukipata tuna recommend na inateremshwa chini tunaambia kwanza watu watoke alafu sasa watu wengine wachukue sisi kwanza katika nchi yetu tunajua mahakama ni huru na uwezo kaingilia mahakama na yale wanafanya tunajua hakika wako within their, their, their mandate lakini tuna, tunaomba bari nayo tunaomba ya kwamba hii vita tuwezi kushinda e, kwa upande mmoja lazima tupige hii vita kutoka pande sote kutoka mahakama kutoka wapi tusaidiane sote hii ni nchi yetu na hii ni kazi ya kulinda kulinda mwananchi na kulinda mali ya wakenya tupige hii vita mahakama pamoja na executive I, i think this you can put it squarely on the on the developers because the developers the, um, and their consultants and especially the engineers uh, are responsible for ensuring the stability the structural stability of a building uh, however we have um, a lot of developers who are also constructing without consulting professionals Uh, like this building we have here there is evidence that the owner tried to to do some works to support to support the building if you go to the basement you can see that the additional columns that have been introduced to try and uh, support the building so he knew there was a problem with the building and he, at that point he should have either stopped or evacuated people and not allowed to have tenants in the building We have a lot of um, uh, developers who are also ignoring or blatantly ignoring the the, the county's uh, orders. When you tell them to stop, they do not stop. They continue building. Some are building even at night. 
Last week we had we arrested someone who was doing a construction at night at the bypass. So the impunity that is being shown by the developers is very, very high. And uh, you had the governor yesterday saying we have to do things differently. Because the developers have to become uh, safety conscious. Again, let me put it this way. Our engineers in the county are not more than 10 engineers. Those engineers cannot be enough to go around the entire county inspecting all the buildings and confirming their safety. There are other issues like lack of equipment that are required to do the structural audit. And that is why we rely on uh, agencies like the National Building Inspectorate who have actually been very, very active in Kiabu. And in the last uh, couple of months they have inspected over 400 buildings in Kiabu County alone and condemned a few buildings. So we are going to work on that to process them. So those that cannot be resurfaged, surfaced, then we have to bring them down.